In a makeshift workshop in the hills of Santa Ana, Blanca Erazo is building on her successes. She and a small group of other single women work together, helping each other to get ahead. After years of barely getting by, their shoe business is thriving. And with growing confidence, Blanca is working towards goals that at one time seemed impossible. What I want is to export my shoes to Europe, and I have three styles that I think would be good. Crochet, canvas, and traditionally embroidered. These three product lines are part of my dream. Blanca is a beneficiary of Ciudad Mujer, a government initiative to empower women. Child care, computer classes, technical training and more, all in one place. In a country where women are marginalized, thousands of Salvadorians are benefiting. The driving force behind Ciudad Mujer is Vanda Piñato, cabinet member and El Salvador's first lady. She's proud of the changes she's seen in the three years since opening the first center. But if her party is voted out of office on Sunday, she fears that much of what has been achieved could be lost. The great challenge now is for the program to continue. Sudad Muher could go ahead or women's rights could be set back. I hope Salvadorans, and especially women, vote with their conscience. But despite the government's efforts, it's not enough. El Salvador is still one of the poorest countries in Central America. While the government claims to have cut poverty significantly over the past five years, more than a third of Salvadorans continue to struggle to survive. Critics say much more needs to and can be done. The opposition Arena party says their rivals are politicizing these programs. They do a lot of publicity. They spend millions and millions of dollars in publicizing their social programs. I think uh, we're going to have to take the, the few good things this government has done and make them better. This Sunday, voters will decide which party will be better suited to help improve lives in El Salvador. And perhaps more importantly, who is most likely to deliver on their promises. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, San Salvador.